In this video, we will analyze the melanogenesis pathway. This diagram illustrates the biochemical pathway of melanogenesis, the process responsible for melanin production in melanocytes. Melanin is crucial for pigmentation and UV protection, and its synthesis is tightly regulated by key enzymes such as tyrosinase, TRP1, and TRP2. The process begins with L-tyrosine, which is converted into L-dopa by the enzyme tyrosinase. This is the rate-limiting step in melanin production. L-dopa can further enhance tyrosinase activity, amplifying the production of downstream intermediates. L-dopa is uh, oxidized by tyrosinase into dopa quinone, a central intermediate in melanogenesis. From here, the pathway diverges into two branches, leading to F-melanin or pheomelanin production. In the absence of keystain, dopa quinone is um, converted into dopa chrome, which undergoes further modifications to form DHI, dehydroxyindole, and DHICA, dehydroxyindole 2 carboxylic acid. TRP2 catalyzes the tautomerization of dopa chrome into DHICA, while TRP1 oxidizes DHICA. This reaction stabilizes the pathway and increases the production of F melanin, the darker and more protective form of melanin. In the presence of keystain, dopa quinone reacts with keystain to form keystainyl dopa, which eventually leads to the synthesis of pheomelanin. Pheomelanin is lighter in color but less effective at protecting against UV damage. TRP1 and TRP2 are tyrosinase related proteins that play crucial roles in stabilizing tyrosinase activity and guiding the synthesis of F melanin. TRP1, in particular, influences the F melanin to pheomelanin ratio, promoting the production of F melanin. This pathway demonstrates the complex regulation of melanin synthesis, with tyrosinase as the key enzyme initiating the process in TRP1 and TRP2, ensuring efficient production of protective F melanin. This diagram illustrates the pi for kiac pathway, a crucial signaling cascade that regulates cell growth and survival. This pathway is frequently activated in melanoma and plays a key role in tumor development and progression. The pathway begins with activation of receptor tyrosine kinases, RTKs, or RAS proteins, which stimulate PI3K, a lipid kinase. PI3K catalyzes the phosphorylation of PIP2, phosphatidylinositol 45 biphosphate, to PIP3, phosphatidylinositol 345 triphosphate, a key signaling molecule in this pathway. PIP3 activates ACT, a serine surrounding kinase, that functions as the central regulator of the pathway. ACT phosphorylates multiple downstream targets which drive cell growth and survival. ACT activates mTOR, a critical regulator of protein synthesis and cells growth. This drives the expansion of melanoma cells. ACT phosphorylates BUD, an apoptotic regulator effectively inhibiting by death pathways. It also activates MDM2, which suppresses the tumor suppressor protein P53 and enhances cell survival. The PI3K ACT pathway is often dysregulated in melanoma cells. With mutation in PI3K, ACT or upstream regulators like RTK or RAS. This makes it a, cri a critical target for therapeutic intervention aimed at inhibiting melanoma progression. This diagram illustrates the mechanisms by which melanoma cells exploit the regulatory T cells to suppress the immune system. By manipulating immune signaling pathways, melanoma creates an environment that promotes tumor survival and evasion of immune responses. Melanoma cells release key factors, including H ferritin, cytokines, and chemokines, which recruit and activate T-Rex. These signaling molecules establish a connection between tumor cells and the immunosuppressive T-Reg population. T-Regs, or regulatory T cells, play a critical role in suppressing other human immune responses. They achieve this through the production of immunosuppressive cytokines, including interleukin 10, interleukin 35, and TFB. T Rex inhibit cytotoxic T cells and natural killer cells, which are essential for directly attacking melanoma cells. The immunosuppressive cytokines in the Lefkin 10, 35, and DGFB disrupt immune cell metabolisms and promote immune cell death, weakening the immune response. T Rex also suppress dendritic cells, which are crucial for presenting tumor antigens to activate other immune cells, and this prevents the activation of effective anti tumor responses. The suppressive network created by melanoma and T-Rex highlights a major challenge in cancer immunotherapy. Strategies to block T-Rex recruitment or neutralize their immunosuppressive cytokines are being explored to enhance the, effect, the efficacy of anti-melanoma treatments.